So the schools have to open. I've been telling you that uh, for months. If they don't open en masse, Donald Trump loses the election. Why? Because the perception is the virus beat the Trump administration. That's a psychological perception, but it's there. And uh, you can write me letters all day long and say, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. But remember that most voters are unaligned. They, they don't have an emotional attachment to Donald Trump or Joe Biden. They're just floating. And many of those people don't know anything. So if en masse the schools were closed, Trump's done. That's not going to happen. The red states will open. The blue states, many of them will not. And some metro centers will not. And I understand I mean, if you have a huge influx like they do in Miami-Dade in Florida, you can't, okay? It's just too dangerous. But 22 European nations opened their schools with no COVID spike. 22. And I continue to say to President Trump, get them over here. Bring the ministers of education over here. Have a little summit and then report back to the American people on what you've learned from the Europe situation. You don't need a PhD to figure that out. All right? It then sends a message to the American people, you are looking to solve the school problem, and these people have been through it, so let's pick up what they've done. Now, in Israel, they did not have a good experience because they did not social distance, all right? And they crammed the classrooms, and there were cases of COVID among students and faculty. So you can't do that. You have to modify. So um, there is this debate in the, in the USA is, is just dishonest all day long. I'm going to give you the facts now. All right, you ready for the facts? First fact, here's a headline on the Internet this morning. I, want, I mean, this is just outrageous. Poll, only 8% of Americans think schools should be fully reopened with in-person instruction. That's a lie. That's a lie. I mean, it's just, I, I just can't tell you how awful this is. Now, that headline was based on an AP poll that came out. Again, AP always does this. Big deficit, Democrat to Republican. 48% poll Democrat, 37 Republican. Come on, what are you doing? All right, but let's put that aside. All right, the overall, was 60% of the American people want schools reopened with modifications, all right, with adjustments. Of course you will have that. And only 31% not open at all. Not 8%. Oh, jeez. You know, but this is what you see. So, anyway, um, try not to get too angry about it. So you know me, right? Um, I attended the uh, Kennedy School at Harvard. Now, Harvard has changed for the worse since I've been there. And that's probably what, as soon as I left, it went downhill. But I do trust the Harvard research people in all the schools. So here is the School of Public Health. This is what they say at Harvard about reopening the schools. I'm going to quote. I'm going to read slowly. Okay. Studies show that social distancing measures have been critical to flattening the curve of COVID. But school closures may be among the least effective of these measures. A study of county rates of COVID across the United States from earlier this year found no evidence that school closures influence the growth rate of COVID. Let me repeat, no evidence that reopening schools influenced the growth rate of COVID in the United States, according to the Harvard School of Public Health. Secondly, they give advice, all right? Schools must aggressively implement proven risk reduction strategies. Sure. A layered approach should include rapid testing and contact tracing, physical distancing when possible, mask wearing with breaks built into the day, Frequent hand hygiene and well ventilated spaces. Okay, so if you're gonna go back to school, you gotta get a test. All right, you gotta go to your local physician just like you'd have to go and get a physical. All right, to go back to school. Every school, you have to get a physical. You throw in the COVID test, you bring the documentation. Then in the classrooms, 
you don't have as many kids as you used to, and you space the kids. I would even put up a barrier, you know, a plexiglass barrier between the kids and the teacher. All right, I, I would do that. You can see the teacher, the teacher's there, but you have a little barrier. I, what I would do if I were running my school, it doesn't cost much money to do that. Now, on the mask wearing thing, when you're in the class, you wear the mask. When you're outside, you don't have to. When you're in the cafeteria, you don't have to, but you space. And school authorities implement this. That's how you reopen. I think that's what they did in Europe, but I'd like to hear from Europe. Now, this is the Harvard School of Public Health, which says you got to open the schools because closing them doesn't do anything. Here it is. That's the end of the debate, according to me, in my mind. I don't care what Fauci says. I don't care what Burke says. I certainly don't care what the Hey Trump Network say. Bill O'Reilly is back on TV and only on The First. No Spin News, every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on The First.